like this video and subscribe and without further ado let's do it all right so we're primed i'm going to show you guys how i typically do my foundation every day and i'm going to be using the nars radiant longwear foundation and to blend out i'm going to be using the sigma 3d hd kabuki so i love this brush because it has kind of like a triangle shape at the top and it works so good under the eyes for contouring for all over foundation so I just love this. It gives such a flawless finish. So I'm gonna pump some of the NARS foundation on the back of my hand. And I only do like about this much. It looks like it's barely anything, but it will cover your whole face. It is super full coverage. So I like to dot it first and then I just blend it out. And I love how this just gives like an airbrush finish to the skin. And I just kind of sweep it around. I don't like it like this, but it works the best when you kind of just bring it down like this or you bring it up. Just love it. I have three of them. I've bought all three of these because they're so good. And I like using them for foundation, for contouring, and for concealer. So I love. And I'm just going to hit those areas where I'm kind of breaking out. Boom. It is super easy with this brush. It's like super quick. This is fun. I never do full face with you guys ever, but I love it. I love doing skin. Like I'm all about it. So I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in light, and I'm just placing this under my eyes. I'm also gonna go a little bit on the center of my forehead, bridge of the nose, chin, and taking the brush once again, the 3D HD Kabuki, I'm just gonna blend out. This brush is not in my set, but if you guys wanted to pick up something on the site, if you are shopping my set, you can still use any code. You can use my code Victoria Lynn, and you can get 10% off. So if you see something you like, and you wanna throw that in your cart, you can still use the code. The code is not valid on my set because it's already marked down 20% off, but you can use it on other things you see me use today in this video. So to set everything, I'm gonna be using the first brush in my set, and this is the F30. I love this powder brush so much. It is really nice and soft and fluffy, and it's great for setting the whole face. So you can set under your eyes, all over. This is also really great for bronzing the body or highlighting the body. You can use this for so many different things. And depending on how you wanna use it, sometimes I actually hold it like this if I wanna pack powder under the eyes. And even if I wanna do an all over bronze, this is so perfect because it is really nice and fluffy and soft on the skin. I just love it. And you guys are gonna be so shocked. Let me show you this. So this is an F30 and I have had this brush for eight years and I love it so much. I still have it. And if you watch my very first YouTube tutorial, I'm using it and it has come such a long way and I love it. And this was actually my first Sigma brush and I still love it. So I had to include it in my set because it's my fave and I have put it through so many looks. And just so you guys can see, these are gonna last you for so, so long. Okay, so I love using this brush with like loose powders. You can definitely use it with press too, but I've just been loving loose powders with it. I'm just gonna dip into this Marc Jacobs powder. This is the this is the Finish Line Invisible Perfecting Coconut Setting Powder. And what I like to do with this brush is I just like to dip it in, swirl it around, and then I tap it off and you can just set all around your face with it. It is literally so soft and it gives a beautiful airbrushed finish. What I love so much about it is that it's nice and fluffy so it doesn't give you really packed on cakey looking skin when you apply powder. I know with some brushes they're super dense and it can apply a little too much product but with this it is so perfect. And in some coming tutorials I'll show you guys how I use this to bronze the body and highlight the body. I've been doing that with this as well and I love it. When you dip this brush in highlighter and you just go all over your shoulders, it is so pretty for summer. So the second face brush in my set is the F40 and I love this for so many different things. So you can actually use this for blush, for bronzer and for highlight. Sometimes I like to mix the highlight into my blush and just go all over the cheeks and it gives such a glowy look. And once again, because it is more fluffy, it's gonna give you a more natural, really beautiful highlight instead of something that's a little bit too intense. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Matte Bronzer and I'm just dipping my F40 in that. I'm gonna tap it off a little bit. The way this brush is angled, I love it because it's kind of sloped upwards. I like to take this side of it that's kind of sloping down and angle it so I can really get a nice contour into the cheek. And because it's nice and fluffy up here, you can really fluff out that color nicely up into the hairline so it looks really beautiful and defined. So just remember that when you're using it, it's nice to use it this way so the logo is facing to the back and you can get a really nice contour with it. I also like to use it in the hairline as well. 
love to bronze up the hairline with this. The cool thing about the F40 and the F30 is as you use them, they get even softer and they get even fluffier. So I really love that. I love a really diffused look. I typically don't do very harsh contouring. So this is so signature to the looks that I love to create, which are just really blown out and diffused. When it comes to beauty makeup, I just love something like that, really bronzy. And I just take some more of it and I also just hit the jaw with it. And because this is angled, kind of sloped, you can really get underneath your jaw really nicely. And I just take the bronzer and I fade it upwards like this. So I'm gonna take the F40 again and we're gonna blush up with this brush. And it works so beautifully because we just use the opposite side to contour. We're gonna flip it and use the more fat side to really cover these cheeks in blush. I'm gonna pick up the shade Pink Wink. And this is a super pigmented blush from the Natural Face Palette by Too Faced. I'm just gonna lightly go over the cheeks. And because this brush is angled upwards, it's really gonna lift the face when you apply product like this. It's gonna lift it up instead of dragging it down or keeping it kind of in the same place. If you kind of move this brush up, it almost lifts everything. And that's what I love about it. It gives a nice lifted contoured look. Who in this day and age doesn't love to look snatched? I, I do. And I love mixing just the bronzer and blush together because it just gives a really nice beautiful glow to the skin. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the shades Satin Sheets and Starlight and I'm just gonna mix them up. And what I like to do with the F40 is I like to apply the highlighter kind of like to this area of the brush so it's kind of more flat and then I can actually highlight with it. You can go over the blush. See how beautiful that is? It is just really, really natural looking and gorgeous for every day. And this new Too Faced Natural Face Palette is giving me life. I'm obsessed with it. I have a video coming with this collection soon, so just keep a lookout. I'm gonna take this highlighter down the nose. I love to go on the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, and then, of course, the chin. And we can't forget about the Cupid's bow. Boom, glowing. And you can see just that soft, kind of diffused look that it gives. I'm obsessed. I love it. So we're going to be using the Kat Von D Super Brow and this pomade has me shook. I love it. It is so amazing. I've been using it constantly since it came out. I actually bought a bunch of them at iMats, but this one I ordered online when I got back home because I really wanted a dark brown one and that's the shade I'm using. I'm going to be using this on a Sigma Small Angle E65. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring the pomade through the brows and I love to do a super intense brow. So I'm just going to go ahead do that this brush is super super thin so you can do really fine strokes with it or you can be really precise like I am and I just take the brush and I start to draw little hairs at the front I just lightly pull it through the brow like I'm literally drawing hairs on I'm telling you with this brush and this pomade your brow game is gonna be strong AF I'm in love with this combo. Honestly, look at this difference. What? So now I'm grabbing the F75 concealer brush and I love using this for cut creases and also carving out the brow. And because we're doing full glam, we need to carve out this brow. So I'm just going in and shaping it with this concealer. Drag it right under. And even if you have like a few little stray hairs, this will literally make your brows look like they're waxed. It'll just conceal them so perfectly. Because we're gonna do a really bomb really intense eye look today. I need to make sure these brows are like straight fire. So now I'm gonna take the MAC Cosmetics Brow Set and Be Gill. It's almost like when you have dark hair and you get highlights. I feel like this product totally does that for the brows and it makes them look so much more real and not so drawn on. Almost like adds like texture to the hair so it just looks fuller and it makes them lighter. So if you ever go too dark on your brows, this is like perfect. So we're already ready to jump into the eye look. So I'm gonna prime with the Urban Decay Eden Primer. I'm gonna go all over the lid with it, blending kind of up into the concealer where the brows are. And then I'm gonna blend out with the E75 once again. So we're gonna be using one of my favorite brushes of all time from Sigma, and this is the E40. I love this one because it's super soft on the eye. It's nice and fluffy, and it's perfect for the crease and really blowing out colors. So we're gonna be using the Nightlife Palette in collab with Camila Coelho, and this is from Sigma. This has some beautiful purples in it. So I'm gonna grab this purple here, and I'm gonna start blending this right into the crease of the eye. 
Also, this brush is super nice if you like doing blown out colors. Just with one eyeshadow, you can sweep this all over the center of the lid and blow out that color so beautifully. Like this brush with this gold, ooh, that would be so beautiful all over the lid. So I'm just really bringing this out kind of towards the temple area. We're going for a super dramatic gold and purple look today. I haven't done gold and purple, so I really want to do that for this look. I'm just really blending that out. Another thing I wanted to mention when using this brush, so if you kind of place your hand towards the end of the brush as you're blending, like as you can see, my hand's pretty low on it, you're going to get a much softer, more diffused blend. And if you want to pack more product on it, you want to be a little bit more precise, then definitely move your hand more towards the front area where the bristles of the brush are. For this, I really am keeping my hand pretty low and just kind of blending out and you're going to get a softer look with that. So now I'm gonna grab the dark purple shade and I'm gonna be using the E54. So what I love about this brush is that it's kind of domed and I really like that it's domed because you can concentrate this on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start to place this in the outer corner and I'm just wiggling this up right into the crease. I just kind of drag it along the outer corner like this and then bring it right up into the crease. And then just going back in with the E40, I'm just gonna blend out that outer corner of the eye. Another thing about the E40 is you can't just limit this brush to the eyes. You can totally use this on the collarbones. You could use it for highlight. You could use it for the bridge of the nose to highlight. You can use it to contour the nose. There's so many different uses for the E40. So now I'm grabbing the E55 eye shading brush and I included this in my favorites because I love how nice and flat it is. You can use this to smoke out the lower lash line. You could use it to place down lid color. You can dip this in concealer to cut the crease. There's so many ways that you can use this as well, and I love using it in the brow bone too. But right now, we're gonna be placing down a gold lid shade. So I'm popping into my Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette from Sigma, and I'm gonna pick up the shade Bittersweet. I'm just gonna coat my brush in that color. A trick that I love to do is to spritz my brush. So I spritz it just like that with some Fix Plus, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that color right onto the lid. And because the brush has a nice round shape, it's pretty easy for you to go in and almost like carve out your crease without even needing concealer. And I'm just fading that color right into the dark purple. I'm shook at how good this copper and then the purple look together. I really love it. I don't think I've done this color combination before, but I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna add some glitter because honestly, who am I if I don't add glitter right now? So this is the Stila Magnificent Metal in Rose Gold Retro. I'm gonna pick it up using the E55 and I'm just gonna wipe it onto the brush and I'm just gonna place that right over the shade Bittersweet. Ooh, that is popping. So I'm just pressing that over that whole eyelid and then stamping it up into the crease. So I have the Wicked Liner from Sigma here. I'm gonna wing this out because this would not be a look of mine if I did not add a wing right now. So this is the liquid eye pen version of Sigma's gel liner in Wicked. They've recently launched this along with a few other shades of the gel liner. I really like this. I think it's nice and black and I love pen liners. So I'm so glad they made this pen. This will literally make your wings so sharp you could cut all of your haters with it. So I highly recommend it. Also, if you ever mess up on your liner, you can use the E75 and some concealer, just like this. Just get it right on the end of the brush. You can go right up against your eyeliner and just clean it up. I don't know about you guys, but when I put on some thick lashes like this, my looks go from like zero to 100. Like I feel like they make everything. So I'm gonna pop on these. They're from Nubonsum, I think that's how you say it. Nubonsum, yes. And these are the Bella Lash. And I have never worn these before, but I'm excited to try them on. They look really fluffy and thick. Ooh, I love these already. They're so pretty. Lashes literally like take it there with any look. I really, really love these. All right, so the lashes are on. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my waterline using the KKW Beauty and our Henny's collab. And this is in the shade Comet King. This is like a gold, it's super pretty. So I'm just gonna line the waterline with this. 
See how pretty that is? I just love it. So I'm about to use the E55 and I used it for glitter and everything, but how I like to clean my brushes in between shades is I use like a color switch type thing. And I actually got this from TJ Maxx. This one's called Clean Sweep. You can get these there or you can get the Vera Mona color switch, but they're like a little cleaning pad for your brushes and you can just lightly kind of wiggle your brush in it and it's completely clean so you can really switch back and forth between these brushes. I'm just trying to give you guys really good tips as to how you can use them and get the most out of them as you're doing your look. So I love using something like this to clean them in between shades. So I'm gonna go back into the Nightlife palette and I'm gonna grab the shade VIP, which is the purple. And what I love so much about this brush is not only can you use it on the lid, but you can use it to really smoke out that lower lash line. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And I totally feel like this is what I do for most of my looks. I just love doing a super smoky under eye look. It's like my favorite to do. And what I love about this brush is you could use it horizontally or you can use it vertically. So if you wanted to make it even smokier, you can use it vertically like this. And then I just go back in with the E40 and really blend that out a little bit more. I just love that grunge look when you really smoke out the lower lash line. So. I had to include like a smudgy type brush in this set and I love this one. So now I'm gonna grab this dark purple and I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit of black. Really tap that brush off and I'm just gonna really get super close to the wing area and connect the black. So now I'm gonna take the Firm Blender E44 and I'm just gonna clean that off really quickly. And I'm gonna grab, what's this look like? Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm gonna grab this shade here and I'm gonna use this to highlight the inner corner of the eye. Ooh, that's pretty, I love that. I'm just gonna pop that right in the inner corner. So now I'm just gonna pop some mascara on the lower lashes and we can move on to lips. So now I'm gonna do my favorite lip combo and this is my favorite hot pink lipstick ever and it's the Sigma Pink Lipstick and it is so pretty. I just love this color. I feel like it looks good with a lot of my looks and I just love hot pink lips. It's one of my faves and I like to top it off with the Top That Liquid Lipstick. So I actually put this one in the middle of the Sigma Pink and it's like the perfect hot pink. 